Did you know, most of the breastfeeding problems can be easily avoided just with the help of right information. It's important every expecting couple gets the right information on lactation before delivery so that the mother knows what is happening with her and her baby. Are they doing fine? Are there any real red flags? Now, it also helps a mother to set her own breastfeeding goals. Your goals need not sink in with what is ideal. You could have smaller achievable goals. For example, I want to feed colostrum to my baby or I want my husband to do skin to skin with my baby. Simple, small, achievable goals. Once you achieve them, give that, that will give you the confidence to head forward in a positive mind frame. Also, did you know that actually very, very minute percentage of women actually have low milk supply? Now understand, anything done hastily, assuming you have low milk supply, is going to be more harmful in your breastfeeding journey. For example, hastily starting formula or bottles, pacifiers, excess galactogos in your diet, all this is going to do more harm than good. So what is the roadmap? How should one navigate? How should one have a happy and joyful breastfeeding journey? Simple. First, get your facts right. Get the right information. How can you do that? There are a couple of ways to do this. One, if you like reading books, there are a lot of good books available on breastfeeding, which you can grab. Um, you can follow some very good professionals on social media who share snippets of good information about postpartum care. We at Snugbub also do that. So you, if you if you are in need of good information, evidence-based information on postpartum related topics, you can definitely reach out to us. Um, thirdly, which I feel is really helpful, is to have your own lactation counselor. Somebody who could be your go-to lactation counselor, LC, who could be a go-to LC for any of the uh, hurdles which you face in your breastfeeding journey. So your LC can actually support you right from the time you're pregnant till you wean your child, right? So it's a long span of time where you get a good support from a professional, where you get right information. You, you know how to navigate any hurdles which you face in the way. For example, engorgement, for example, if you have flat nipples, inverted nipples, the latch is not right, the LC will be the right person to guide you through this and help you achieve your breastfeeding goals. It could be even simple things like the, a lot of myths which come our way. For example, I think your baby is still crying. I don't think the baby has had a good feed or there's something wrong with your milk. I don't think your baby likes the taste of your milk or um, the baby is crying a lot. I don't think the baby, um, your milk is sufficient. Or don't lie down and nurse. Don't have this. Don't eat this. Don't eat that. Or eat this more. Any of these things, right? It always helps to have that community or a go-to person where you can um, get facts around all these statements that come your way. Or even to have any um, hurdles, for example, your baby was on formula, you want to get the baby back to breast or the baby was on bottles and you want to get the baby back to breast or you are, you are resuming work, you are worried how you can um, achieve your breastfeeding goals or what would be the best approach to um, start working and also make, making sure that your baby gets the right nutrition. So many things where a um, lactation counselor can be of help. So uh, make sure you reach out to a good professional so that you get the right help which you deserve and your baby deserves. And we at Snugbub would be happy to help you if you have any concerns, if you have any needs with respect to any of the postpartum related queries. Thank you. Take care.